Christianity is a love relationship between Almighty God and man. Before we were born, Almighty God knew us by name. He knew our future and that we would sin. He is a holy God and knew that we had no hope in a relationship with Him unless He created a way. It is written that all of our righteousness is filthy rags before Him. In the Garden of Eden, there was only one sin. God said, Do not eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree and became accountable for their sin. And Satan became accountable for tempting the woman. The curse of death was put upon Adam and Eve. And God told Satan, The seed of the woman will crush your head. God did not say the seed of Adam, but said the seed of the woman. Almighty God spoke through his prophets in every book in the Old Testament concerning the seed of the woman, how he will be born of a virgin, where he will be born, that he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. They wrote of his sinless life, his stripes, his wounds, and his death on the cross, his burial in a rich man's tomb for three days, and his resurrection to victory. They wrote that he was a sinless sacrifice, crucified for our sin, to restore us into a love relationship with Almighty God. Almighty God manifested his holy words by his prophets when the Holy Spirit made a young Jewish virgin woman pregnant. The Holy Spirit imparted the Spirit of the Son of God into the woman. Mary gave birth to a child whose father is Almighty God and mother is human. He is God in the spirit and human in the flesh. He walked a sinless life and was the Christ, which means the anointed of the Holy Spirit. Concerning how to become a Christian, Jesus spoke to his disciples one day in Matthew 16:13, when Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, Whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, Whom do men say that I am? Many different men in this world say that Jesus is someone that is not. Many say he's only a prophet. But Almighty God reveals in many different ways in scriptures that Jesus is the Son of God. The knowledge of Jesus being the Son of God is what Jesus built his church on. The death on the cross of anyone other than the Son of God would have no effect over sin. Jesus alone fulfilled all the prophecies as a sinless sacrifice for our sin. He alone is the Savior. There is no other way than believing on Jesus to be saved from sin and death. If you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God and you want your sin washed away by His holy blood, you can become a Christian. Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. Those that believe in the, that the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ will wash away sin and want to become a follower of Him can receive this blessing by prayer and then get baptized in water in obedience to Him. This is an odd sign that we believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you sincerely want to become a Christian, you can begin now through prayer. You can pray from your heart this prayer salvation. Or I can help you by leading you in a prayer. Follow me as I pray the prayer of salvation with you. Just repeat after me. Sovereign God, 
I come to you in prayer now and ask for your mercy upon me. Forgive all of my sin and trespasses. I believe that Jesus Christ is your Holy Son and you have raised Him from the dead. I ask you, wash me free from all sin with His blood and give me the gift of salvation. Baptize me now with your Holy Spirit and give me the gifts. Thank you, Almighty God, for all the gifts that you give me. I pray that you will provide me with water baptism. I am not ashamed that I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that your word is true and receive your gifts now. Thank you, Almighty God. Amen. God has blessed you because of your sincere prayer. Almighty God heard you and responded with gifts of salvation and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He will provide you with open doors to receive more of His grace and blessings. It is written in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich upon all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.